here we begin our trip to Brussels. It's me, Bissal, and with me. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, what's up? So, we just boarded the train and we are now headed to our first stop to say hmm. So, keep on watching. And we are waiting for our next connection. So we are here half an hour tra transfer duration, so just waiting around. We have still 10 minutes for waiting time, and look what have they started to do. <laughs> Actually, the thing is, we just ate before we leave. Left to home, and he's uh, hungry already. Actually, it turns out we have more than just 10 minutes time left, so we are taking a quick stroll around the city. And, and yeah, quick fact: we are at Ulm, and which is also the birthplace of Albert Einstein. I don't think we have good enough lighting, but I hope it's good enough. Let's continue our walk. So this is what Om looks like in Friday night. So now from this video onward, I'm switching on the format of my uploads and I'm switching on from more of vlog type of video format rather than just a travel log or a travel memory app. And yeah, I will try to make both of them as much as possible, but I have to see Actually, if I manage to pull that up or not. Let's continue walking around. Then we are here at the tallest church of Europe. A surprise trip, trip actually. Surprise, surprise visit. But I don't think it's visible and it's open because. And yeah, normally it will be lighted pretty well. But now due to Energy saving or so the use of electricity for aesthetic purpose and decoration purpose they are stopped in Germany, right? That's why maybe the lights are turned off. It's quite a disappointment. There's some progressive shit going on here. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, after some time we will be continuing our journey to Brussels, Belgium. And the dinner has been served. As a true Asian, Niket is not holding back. We have brought some from house, like a true Asian. <laughs> and he's doing a soft gourmet level shit with music and Fine dining with view. More than typical yeah. Asian. Yeah, more than typical Asian, and his view is that <laughs> dinner with the view. So after quick change of plan, we went to see the Ulm Kirche and Ulm Münster. Ulm Münster, and it was quite cloudy, and I will include some footage as well. Now we are back on track with our journey, and we are now boarding our tram to so, go to the bus panel, fix bus panel. The Indian Indian rituals, where we believe that when we have sweet before going to a trip or to some good work, uh, it, the trip or the work will be definitely happy, peaceful, and a great one. So let's have it.
quite an experience, right? It was absolutely scary. Because surprisingly, the police and customs, they stopped the bus and took everyone out of it. And took everything, including bags, first, and checked it three times. <laughs> and our friend Aniket, he was, oh, I'm very scared now. Morning from Brussels, Belgium, and we have finally arrived at Brussels. And we are currently headed to our hotel, get dressed, get ready, and go out for for the day. So let's go. Ooh. Our journey from Germany to Belgium was good enough. And we took a bus from Germany and that took us around 10 hours or so, approximately. And yeah, right from the beginning, it's, it was around 10 hours when we left from Belgium. And now it's early morning. I don't see much of things going on here. The streets seem to be quite calm and cool yep and the weather is not so cold as we expected it to be but it's cold enough here and luckily i don't think today it's gonna rain that's for uh, that's a good luck for us so hope the day is gonna go, go pretty well i'm gonna continue recording my day and presenting you guys in this video so keep watching it's trying to figure out where are we now. Do I mention the location where are we right now? No. Kakuri Peak Bike and now we are headed to where we are headed Pat? Uh, Royal Palace of Brussels. Now we are headed to Royal Palace of Brussels. Okay, we are just walking by foot or taking some sort of transportation? Okay. Mm -hmm. We could use something like this one. <laughs> But yeah, for now we are just walking around, wow. seeing things around, seeing the city of Brussels. And looking, one thing for sure, it does not look like the most of European city because the most of the, almost every European city they look the same because they oh, are different. Yeah, because the other ones so far the that I have been on they look mm -hmm. like. They are built around some sort of old start, like old town and with a um, old type of architecture, you know. But yeah, these but ones, like a these one are new architecture. yeah, a modern architecture. The, so if you are in the city, you won't feel like you are in some old yeah. city. So far, I have seen these are all modern and look artistically <laughs> pleasing. This was the Cathedral Brussels. We went inside and took a quick glance at it. Uh, what do you think? How is the, was it? It was pretty beautiful, I will say. Now we are going to another place, another tourist destination. Ooh. And have you figured out where we are now? <coughs> we were here. Okay. Now we are moving somewhere to reach to this. Palace. Palace. Royal Palace. Yeah, so okay. kind of somewhere here. So we are going here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the architecture looks pretty modern, right? Part, where are we now? Yeah, we have entered into the area of Brussels Palace. Okay, Royal Palace Garden. Yeah. We are calling that Royal Palace Garden. Here we can. This park feels out of Europe because you can see the park is like dug out. Under construction for water. Having a hard time? Yo, let's go. Apparently, the Belgium Royal Palace Garden has run out of water. <laughs> Scarcity is real, man. Save resources. Save energy, save water. What did you you can witness the Royal Palace of Brussels. This is the Royal Palace of Belgium, Brussels. Okay, so basically it's like a museum now. Yeah, it's closed, temporarily closed for the moment, but it will be open soon. I think they are renovating the interiors. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So we can expect to visit the museum. Yeah, maybe after one or two months. Okay, nice. This is Pustak Bahumulya Pustak. इसमें हमारे घूमने के जितने भी जो आकर्षण हैं उन सब आकर्षणों के बारे में जहाँ जहाँ खाने ढाबों पर हम जाने वाले सब के बारे में इसमें लिखा हुआ है ये बहुत कीमती है हम अब तक इटली घूमने गए थे स्पेन घूमने गए थे जितने ट्रिप घूमने गए सबके डिटेल्स इसमें इट्स अ ट्रेजर यू डोंट � are we going and joining the crowd? We'll see please, the line for some time. No. We'll it's enough. <laughs> Thank you, man. And yeah, we are just roaming around the city center here. What do you think of this city center, man? City center looks quite fascinating and amazing. There are literally and definitely so many people. It's really enjoyable and the building, like there is a building which is 123 years old. And so beautiful building. Yeah, and, and if you look at our bag, you can see the whole city view, which is really amazing. Really enjoy the city view. Yeah, and it's quite popular to tourist destination, and there are a lot of people right here. Yeah, and, and Aniket is doing something very mischievous. No, right that. So there is a Pablo Picasso art exhibition going on here and the line is quite long you can see. We are I don't think we are going to enter the museum. What do you think? Are we going in? No? I don't no, think so. No, it's a pretty long line. Yeah, it's a pretty long line and if we join in we are going to be late for our other plans, right? Plans. So we are going skipping it for now. Mm -hmm. Now going for the uh, Justice building in Brussels. Okay, yeah. It's a really nice architecture mm -hmm. right now. I think some renovations are going on. Okay. But still, it's a really good architecture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all. So we can show okay. a glimpse of from here. Okay, wait. Church of Our Lady uh -huh. of Victorious uh -huh. at the Sablon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the lights are out and the decoration are ready for the Christmas maybe, or the fest that are coming. I don't know because there are lights and decoration all over the place. I would say all over, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> there there is some. And after going to the church with a really long name, 
<laughs> we are headed to some buildings with the innovation. What was the name? Captain, what was the name? It's so called Law Courts of Justice. Okay. Or Law Courts of Brussels, you can see. by the beauty of the building you know you look more than uh, justice building of Belgium I'm quite amazed by the justice court of Belgium right Belgian waffles in Brussels. Yeah, some waffle with you. We are on the Paris Wheel at the top of Brussels, Belgium. How are you feeling? Excited. Good. Nervous. I don't want it to break. It's a really nice view you can see. Okay, yeah. The whole city from here, so yeah. What do you think about the view, man? The view is really amazing. The city on this side is indeed beautiful. And yeah. with this filter, it looks more amazing. Yeah. Can you see the filter from a camera? I don't think so. It's visible. And yeah, the city is indeed so beautiful, man. Enjoying the view. And the view. Ferris wheel, Brussels. Just now we were in the Ferris wheel which gave us the complete view of the whole city. It was really amazing because we could see the whole city and the city is really beautiful. Now we are gonna head towards our lunch place and today me and Pat we are from India so we are taking our Nepali friends to a South Indian restaurant that is Sarvanna Bhavan. It is a famous food chain in all over the Europe and I hope you guys are gonna love the South Indian food. So see you towards there in Sarvanna Bhavan. But Baba is taking us somewhere. We are just following him right on his footsteps. And bye bye to the view and the ferris wheel. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> bye. Bye. We have such excited people with us. Mm -hmm. We're ready to say hello to our video. Uh -huh. Bye bye. The one word, what does it come to your mind when you see this building and the surrounding? In just one word. Modern. Modern. <laughs> word that comes to your mind when you see this city? Elegant. Man. One word that comes to your mind when you think about Brussels, Belgium? I'll say two words. Collaboration mm -hmm. of uh, modern and cultural buildings. Yeah. And the word that was on my mind was also elegant. Parts I said it. Yeah. Saravana Bhavan. Saravana Bhavan. Saravana Bhavan. Saravana Bhavan. Yes. And we are going to get inside and get, grab up. Enjoy some South Indian food. Okay, South Indian delicacies. Let's go. So we are gonna start our lunch with the South Indian delicacies. You can see the menu over here. And as we're gonna dug into it, you can 
see all the South Indian delicacies here. Mm, actually, it's my first time meeting at a South Indian restaurant and trying some South Indian delicacies, and I'm quite excited, man. Do you, have you? Are you a big fan of this? Which yeah, one? I have been like uh, to whichever trip we have gone to, I have been to the Salvana Bhavan restaurant all my trips. Everywhere it's amazing. That's why I have brought you again here to enjoy the South Indian delicacies. Let me show you how is it. So expectations are really high. You know, expectations are really high. Let's see how it goes out. It's Medu Vada. Medu Vada. How do you think it is? Really good with the coconut. Chutney. That's coconut. Mm. And another one? Uh, I'm not sure about this, but this is sambar. Coconut chutney. That's all. With flavors. Okay, okay. How, how it is made? So, what it is made of? What it is called? This one is mango. This one is sambar with lentils and all the vegetables that you want to use. This is coconut chutney. Yeah, these both have both coconut, coconut base. This is, I think, just coconut with. Um, Spices. Spices and this is coconut with uh, coriander and a little bit of mint to have the flavors and the color of mint that's why. It's just basic two chutneys and one sambar. And this vada is also made of lentils but it's just that they make it and they fry it and all. That's why it's so beautiful. So how will you describe this food? How will it, how it taste like? Amazing. Amazing. Here comes masala sambar. Again, we have the big masala dosa, and this is sambar, all the coconut chutneys, and this is uh, a gunpowder kind of chutney. Yeah, it's made out of uh, from tomato and peanuts. And it's really very spicy. This chutney is really very spicy. Okay. And this is masala dosa. This is also made out of uh, rice flour. Rice flour. Here you have the. Same ingredients as uh, medu vada, sambar, the coconut chutneys, and this is uh, chutney made out of tomatoes and uh, peanuts. And this is the plain dosa. And when we add a little bit of masala to it, it becomes masala dosa. So you have to take a little bite, a little bit of masala, dip it in one of the chutneys, and wow. We have yet another dish, yeah, South Indian dish, and I don't know what it is. It looks pretty good. And now Aniket, my friend, will yeah. explain it. What's it? What is it? So you guys just saw the previous dosa that we had. So it's similar to that dosa. Outing covering is same. The difference here is we have paneer inside now, the favorite dish of every Indian. And along with that, there is cheese, butter, and the same masala which we had from previous one. The shape is also different. <coughs> The side is again the same. The sambar with this with lentils and all the vegetables, the different chutneys with coconut and our favorite tomato peanut chutney. So what it is called? The name of this? It is called paneer button cheese masala dosa. It's a quite long name. Okay. Such awesome dosa. Now we have something that I know already of, but as it is Indian, Aniket is going to explain this one. So now. Now after dosas we have our typical rice dish. It is uh, paneer biryani. I know if it is vegetarian you guys won't accept it as biryani, but it's with paneer and all the special South Indian spices. So it is our special paneer biryani, and it is served specially with the raita. And they are seriously so tasty. I just tasted it. If you have it with the biryani, it's gonna be really amazing. If you are here, just have this raita for sure. P.S. Aniket is a vegetarian, so he dragged us to this one. Yeah, I did. There are more vegetarian options here. No non-veg options. Yeah, I was just like, I didn't knew that it was a vegetarian shop, and I was just like searching and searching through the menu, and I, I didn't find a single dish. I was like, what the hell is happening here? Maybe it, there's a special dedicated page for that. And it turns out with his evil smile, and he could say, or explain that the this is a pure vegetarian chain of restaurant. So. It was quite right, a right. surprise, but yeah, the dishes were quite nice. So let's dig right into this biryani. You can see there is paneer, delicious paneer. So after a quick lunch at Tashavana, we are heading back to our lunch at where? 
होटल सर्वन्ना भवन सर्वन्ना भवन सर्वन्ना भवन वेर हेडिंग बैक टू आवर हॉस्टल टू टेक अ क्विक रेस्ट और और अ पावर नैप एज पर आवर अनिकेत सो हो लेट्स गो बैक Come here to the souvenir store, and Aniket is busy buying some mem travel memorials. So I'm here looking around the stores. It turns out beer, chocolates, and waffles. They are the things that make most of the souvenirs. Our kitchens in Belgium market. We just came out of the most, one of the most busiest street here in Brussels, maybe. That's so bustling. Uh, and it turns out there is a famous statue of a little boy. Doing his business, and these people are flocking around there to grab a picture. Here you can see it's right around the edge, over there. And I'm going, and and I'm heading away from the crowd. Continue our walk. A quick info. Uh, French fries were originally from Belgium. From Belgium, right? Yep. So there are people who are here from outside, and they just want to try the thing that originally originated from here. So everywhere we go in cafe, restaurant, or places they serve French fries, there are people waiting in lines like so to get the street food. And like these are also maybe stalls. They haven't opened it, but maybe today some kind of fish. Open by the evening. Yeah, I think so. There might be some kind of fish today. Look, looking at the outset, it looks as if there's a, some kind of fish going on, and yeah, the crowd is really big, and there are people overall. They are lining, walking around street shops. They are buying mainly, mostly Belgian waffles, French fries, and beer, and those are the things that originally, not if not originally, they are very famous for here in Brussels, Belgium. Oh man, the craze for waffle and French fries just not continues to surprise us. People are just. Flocking outside the stalls, waiting in long lines just to get their waffles and their fries, fries. right? Yeah. Are we going to stay on those lines? I don't think so. We'll see that soon. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we are the one standing in the line. Also. Yeah, maybe we can be later, but for now on we will continue to walk 
forward and continue seeing things as we go. After a quick nap, we are again back on road to do some sightseeing here in Brussels, Belgium. Evening with the lightings and all. Now we can finally see. Brandenburg tour of Belgium. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't actually know the name. Park. Park by. Please help me with this the one. The name is Park Duquantenerio. Park Duquantenerio. Park Duquantenerio. Yeah. Get like this. We are going to Park Duquantenerio. And we're getting close here. Okay, it turns out we are in front of the... <laughs> no. E European Parliament or the EU. Bye -bye. Commission. EU Commission. Mm. What was the name of the place? Park something. Park something something. <laughs> that looks uh, somewhat almost similar to Brandenburg tour and they are busy here taking pictures it's quite dark here and get to the Queen era it's a color sky After an awesome day out, we are going for a dinner at a Nepali restaurant in Brussels, Belgium. And we hope that the food is great over there. Yeah, that's and the hope. Enjoy the meal. Mm -hmm. That's very important right now because after a tiring day, mm -hmm. a good meal is really, really important. Yeah, and one thing we are noticing, this part we are walking through, it's quite quiet. Quite, quite, yeah, it's quite, 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 quite <laughs> different from the city center that we just visited. Yeah, exactly. Like there is not, not so much going on. There, uh, once in a while, we see some cyclists or people walking by. We can just, just walk in the middle of the street. Yeah. And there, as if it's a Bappa street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can just claim it that it belongs to my father. Yeah. Just like Aniket said, his Papa's yeah. street. But yeah. And today. Our leader part was very cranky and he is not crank but he was cranky. After dinner at a Nepal restaurant we are heading back to our hotel and it turns out we are quite far away from our hotel so we have a decent amount of distance to cover and decent amount of night walk. So and we are just enjoying the street. So, Aniket is enjoying at the fullest. Idhar, idhar, dek, idhar, dek. And this is how you enjoy from the street of Brussels. The walk 
continues. Our evening walk still continues, and we are almost here now, enjoying the nightlife as well as the night view. Everything is almost quiet now. Everything has almost come to standstill. But the city is bright and even more beautiful during night.